Hello guys and welcome back to 60 Seconds. In today's episode we're going to be playing a hacked version of the game so that we have unlimited items and we can't run out of food. We're going to play in the hardest mode possible here. We're going to see how it happens. I'm quite curious to see. We're going to feed these guys like crazy. We're going to have all the items. We can keep them fully entertained. Let's just see what happens to our guys doing this. I'm quite curious. Alright, so here we are in the pickup phase. The most important thing here is to actually pick up all our family members and get those dropped off straight away. We need to get them straight in. So we've got the wife. We've got, I don't know why she's blowing a tuba. It's creepy. This chick. And drop her in. Why does she take up three slots? Everyone else takes up two. Wow. Okay, we need to find Timmy. Where's Timmy? Oh no, he must be here somewhere. Where are you? This is like the most important step. Ah! Timmy! Here he is, here he is. It's okay, we're gonna get all the items anyway, so it doesn't matter actually what we get here. Alright, half the time's up. I might just like collecting stuff just in case. Like this one. There's a map up there we got. Checkerboard. Some water. Oh, I got the cards actually. Get this stuff in the shelter. We've still got time. Might as well get some more stuff here. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Give me the gun. Give me the suitcase. Oh, can't carry it. Can't carry it. Get the water. Alright. Our time's basically used up. Uh, we'd have to, nah, we're not going to risk it. We're going to jump in. We're going to be safe. We have unlimited items anyway, so doing anything extra doesn't really do anything for us. And down we go. There goes the nuke. Boom. Right. And the game begins. Well, the loading screen begins. The game's about to begin in a second. And here we go. We're going to do the best possible scenario here. I'm quite curious. Day one, guys. Welcome to our shelter. Day one. Alright, I don't really care too much. Okay, we're going to ration it out. So, Oh, we don't have any food. What we need to do, come back here, click the lights. See, clicking the lights gives us food. We're good now. Come back here, come back a page. Forwards again. And there we go. We can give everyone food now, we're good. Next page. Day one. Alright. So, day one was all good. Everyone got food. Everyone happy. They look really... It looks a lot more depressed now, actually. What happens now? Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Mary Jane seems to be fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Yeah, this is kind of story junk. Okay, sweet. So, it looks like the... Okay, do we want to pack to go outside? Yeah. Is there any point in going outside? So, it looks like the area is still ir um, irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't... Okay, we might get sick. So we'll stay inside for now. Um, we have some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. We don't know where it went. It must have been misplaced. We need to find it in soon. Okay, we'll use the light. Sure. The thing is, we'll get the light back anyway. We should already have unlimited ammunition. I don't know what it's talking about, actually. Alright. So, we ration out the food. Done. What are our decisions to do today? Do we want to go outside? Nope. It's still irradiated, no thank you. We thought it would be a great idea to have some role-playing fun and create our own shelter theatre group. We called it the Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it and decided that maybe it would be best to play something simpler. Wow. And we're on to day four. I believe at some stage we're going to have to go outside, but I don't want to get co covered in radiation. Cool. What's up next? Okay, the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions can result in radiation sickness. That's fine. Um, it's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are all messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. We use the medikit, I suppose. But the thing is, we'll use the medikit and then... Yeah, I mean, it's not going to get used. It's pretty sweet for us. Alright. Our first aid kit was stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought we would use them, but in these conditions, it's the right thing to do. Also, it was a nice change from our usual diet of tomato soup. We're all rested now and can enjoy our time in the shelter. Or are we? It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. She looks fat. Have a look at her. Yeah, she's fat. Alright. Everything seems okay with Dolores. I'm guessing that's Dolores there. Can I click on her? Oh yeah, Dolores. Nice. Okay. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Yep, we're going to feed all it. Everyone's getting fed. Full food. Do we want to go outside? It looks like the area is still irradiated. Nah. No, 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 no. 
One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green show up at your doorstep claiming they are from the rich and give to the- Okay, they take from the rich and give to the poor. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? Hell no! Why would I let those clowns in? No, thank you. I mean, we've got a gun and everything, so... Surely we should be turning on the radio soon. Alright. We didn't answer those um, particular calls and kept the door locked until the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure what we want these people to come back. Okay, they sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Timmy might not look it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Yeah, they're all doing fine. I mean, we're feeding them a ton. They have perfect food. A neighborhood is still highly... No, we're not going outside then. Okay, the trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it. So we're saving some food. Yet for some reason, we would like to tidy up this mess. Those giant green cockroaches are pretty good motivator. Okay, we'll use the poison spray. Oh, the boy scout. Oh, we'll use the poison spray. Poison spray. Hopefully we don't kill ourselves here. Spray, 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 spray. Everyone's still good. Everyone very good. That was close. A nest of those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us out of the wasteland. Roaches are worse, but radioactive roaches? Yikes. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in a coffin size this shelter? Okay. Cool story. They're all feeling good, obviously. Done, done. Um, it looks like the area is... No, it's still the radiator. I'm not going out there. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in the situation. We do hope this whole mess will be over soon, or else we might end up in a place much worse than this cozy shelter. Awesome. I think we've done the right decision so far. I don't really want to let people into the shelter. I want to keep these guys fully fed. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal, and we might never get used to it. We hope help comes soon. No one needs anything. Everyone's solid. Plenty of food, plenty of water. It looks like the area's... I'm not going outside if it's going to be radiated like that. Hey, okay, we can keep sitting on our backside here in this tiny... Okay, we're turning the radio on, TLDR. So they might be sending the military or something for us. Ooh. Phone's ringing. What happened? Quite curious. We made contact! The military is out there and they're coming for us! All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice is very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working audio in order. Mary and Jane is everyone's everyone's good, obviously. They're getting so much food. Wow, we've got so many supplies. Um, we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Who should go answer it? Fatty should go answer it. Let you go. Here we go, almost done. Day 10. What happened? When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter. Mary Jane says she's fine. Yep, everyone's fine. Everyone get food. Awesome. Um, it seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We don't know until we- Okay, we're gonna pack and go outside. Uh, we'll wait a little bit longer. Yep, we'll turn the radio back on. Hopefully we get some more contact from the military. Day 11. Here we go, guys. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today. Yep, everyone's good. Everyone good. So we can start traveling on the safe surface now. Pretty safe out there. Yep, we're packing up. We can use the cards. That's sweet. Okay, so we just use the cards. Awesomeness. And what's happening now? So, haha! Lady Luck has smiled on us. We won a vicious game of war. The man wasn't too happy about it, but he delivered on his promise. Plus two water. We've already got unlimited, so meh. It's impressive how Mary Jane is- yeah, they're all good. They're all good. Click, click. Everyone get food, everyone get water. Okay, what are we taking outside? So if I take him, you get one hand. Everyone only get one hand. That's lame. We're gonna send the chick. Take a gun with you. Take the gun. Where's the gun? Oh, okay, we can take the suitcase. Hold on, this'll be good. 
Take a suitcase. Suitcase. Take ammunition and a gun. Gun. Oh shit. Let me stress that up. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. Ammunition. And take the fire axe. Yeah. Take all the supplies. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. Day 13. Okay. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. She took all this equipment with her. Everyone good. Everyone good. Click, click. Cool. I'm wondering if she's going to come back. It's going to be quite interesting. Day 14. We've got plenty of food. She's not back yet. Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is okay. Everyone good. Ooh, we're saving some food now. Um, really going crazy or the entire shelter is crawling with little insects or worse, the spiders. Let's use the health kit. Health kit, definitely. We'll see what that does. I'm quite curious to see what a health kit does against spiders. Okay. Maybe there are no spiders and all just a hum uh, hallucination. A few pills might help. Guess what? They did! No more spiders. Problem gone. Alright, we made the right call there, I'm assuming. Click, 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 click. The dreadful silence is becoming boring. Yes, it is. It certainly is, guys. Awesome. Let's listen to the right. Ooh. Oh, she's back. She's back. Ah. How fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. On the edge of town, there used to be a big parking lot. Now it looks more like a junkyard. Most vehicles are completely wrecked or burned down. We figured it was still worth checking out. Under the burnt remains of a picnic table, we found some bottled water. Those bottles were not in the best state, but their content looked perfectly drinkable. Plus two bottles of water. It seems the bomb interrupted someone's picnic. Thankfully, there were big fans of tomato soup and the indestructible cans were scattered all around the parking lot. Plus two cans of soup. During the trip, we lit a fire to warm up a bit. It wasn't long before we had a few bandits standing next to our fireplace demanding we give them all of our supplies. In a sudden rush of adrenaline, we decided to toss a few bullets into their fire. What followed was a barrage that set those bastards running with their pants on fire. In their haste, they even forgot a few of their belongings. Plus one can of soup. Alright. Mary Jane's really tired and she needs food. Done. Dunzos. Um... Nah, we're not going back out there. Too risky. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement home. It shouldn't be hard. Borrow some of their supplies. They're really old anyway. No, we're not borrowing their supplies. We've got plenty of supplies. Don't need to steal from other people. We's good. If it was giving them supplies, I'd be up for that. Alrighty. What's up now? We're no bandits. Sure, we need supplies. But not at the cost of others. We won't bother these people. A man who takes a canned tomato soup from another is not worthy to taste that soup. Let's just hope that everybody else out there is as decent as our family. Mary Jane needs food. Come on, how fat are you, Mary Jane? You just got a full can of soup. Jesus. Okay. Summoned upon the remains of a bandit shanty town. Someone or something tore it down. Incidentally, amidst the rubble, we found a cat licking its paws nonchalantly surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs. As we made our way back to the shelter, the cat followed. We can now hear its paws. Okay. Should we let the cat inside? Hells yeah. Let the cat inside. Why not? Curious to see what that does. Meow. It's a cat. Ah, we got a cat. Cat, 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 cat. Cat. When we opened the hatch, the cat jumped in and marched around the whole shelter, sniffing all of us. Every wall, corner, empty soup can, and piece of furniture. Finally, it picked a quiet place, sat down, and let out a deep sigh before taking a 12 hour nap. Its collar has Shakiv, Shakiov, I guess, etched into it. What kind of name is that? Mary Jane always need food. How fat are you? I give you so many cans of food, and you still need more cans of food. You must be joking. Next. Um, shine your boots and hoist a flag. The army is on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlight ready to signal their aircraft. They'll be flying over our area later this evening. If they see our light, they'll know where to look for us. Yep, shine the light, shine the light, shine the light, shine the light. Hopefully they find us. Day 19. Ooh, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat. What happens now? Everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. 
We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. Pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Oh, she's finally eaten enough food. Finally. But we're going to feed everyone just in case. Um, the morning we were surprised to find a letter on our doorstep. It was not signed and it contained a location and time for a meeting tonight. With a few sentences, it said things like, We're friendly, come unarmed, send one person, we have no idea. We're just, no, no, no. We're not coming unarmed. I'll send someone with a gun. That's what I'll do, but no. Oh, he's changed. He's up the top now. Meow. Meow. Okay. We might be passing up a big opportunity here, but we're going to take our chances with the army instead. Our brave soldiers are the only ones that can be trusted in a wretched world now. Plus, we don't want to risk our lives in case this is a trap. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new has happened to Mary Jane today. Everyone good. Everyone all good. We got so much food now. Jeez Louise. We're not going outside again. Um, it's not easy to keep calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we can keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. Sweet. We are solid right now. Day 21. What now? We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal and we might never get used to it. I've already read that one before. We hope help comes soon. So nothing much is happening. Next, next. Sweet. No one going outside. Oh dear, we just remember we're planning on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, are we going right? Pretty sure we're... Okay, we're good. We're not going there. Awesome. Day 22. Cat keeps changing places. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. What else? Click, click. Everyone get food. Nice and easy. Okay, while trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on his collar with an address scribbled on it. Could be his previous owner, still be around and worried sick. Chances are slim. Maybe we should pay them a visit or at least would have known. This is my kitty. Kitty cat belongs to me now. You're not going anywhere, cat. You are mine. What happens now? The cat made a choice to stay here and will respect it. Truth be told, if the previous owner cared about the cat at all, they wouldn't have let it run away. Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe they weren't very good people. Maybe they weren't very alive after the nuke dropped. Either way, very careless. Everyone is good. As it turns out, if you feed them all day, everyone's good. You don't have to deal with problems. The trash can of ours is getting disgusting. We are going to use poison on it. I love using the poison. There we go. Meow! Did we kill the cat? No, we're okay. We didn't kill the cat. We're good. We dodged a bullet this time. That is if the bullet was huge, hairy, had eight legs, and a glowing head. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with him again. Ted seems to have developed an allergy to our furry guest. He's been coughing and sneezing all night long. We should try to get him some medication. Yep. Give me the chance, and I'll give him meds. Yeah, there we go. You can use meds on him. Done. Perfect. Shirkov seems to have fun with a checkerboard. It's his favorite game during the sketches of extreme boredom and silence in the shelter, pushing the checker pieces off the table as he gazes intently at whoever happens to be sitting the closest. The sound of checkers hitting the floor every 10 seconds is getting on our nerves, and we're considering taking the game away. Should we let Shirkov play with checkers? Yes. You can play with the checkers. It's all good. I want to make this cat happy. This cat's like the main member of the family here. Here we go. As soon as we allowed him to play with the checkerboard, Shirkov instantly got bored of it. It did sit on top of it for the whole afternoon though, leaving us with no entertainment whatsoever. The selfish bastard. At least it didn't break anything. Next. Everyone good. Everyone good. Everyone good. What's next? What's next, guys? Oh, here we go. A stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. and claimed he's a trader looking for the barter. So it says... Offers one, offers two, in exchange for the... Okay. Can I give him everything? So I can get two in exchange for the... It's kind of pointless, because, like, we've got unlimited. But why not? We'll trade it with this guy. Alright. Trading, trading, trading. After making the trade, the man packed his things into the wheelbarrow and departed. Before leaving, he added something about bandit activity nearby and how dangerous the area is. Okay, cool. Everyone happy? Everyone happy. Spend some more food here. Everyone good. There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought, why not play some games? They're just not like, they're just not like for kids anymore. Okay, cool. Sweet, 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 sweet. 
Day 27. When's the army getting here? That's my question. We played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored with the letter W. Mary Jane, yep, everyone's good. Everyone's good. We should probably start going outside. Someone needs to go outside. Prepping for going outside. We've been hearing some soft, scratchy noises at the shelter at night. We thought it was just the wind, but we were wrong. It's the cat! It's not really doing anything naughty, it just seems like it just squeezes through some holes in the wall and makes its way outside. We're not sure where it goes during these secret trips, but every morning it's back in the shelter like nothing happened. Should we follow it next time it sinks out? Yes. Definitely follow it as a cat. Follow it as a cat. Hopefully, yeah, we didn't die, that's good. Next. Shirkov took us to an old junkyard that's inhabited by only one lonely resident. A self-proclaimed scientist living in an old bus, converted into a lab to conduct his experiments. The dog seemed happy to have his pet back, although the cat showed no enthusiasm at the prospect. We exchanged some small talk, but truth be told, we were kind of in a hurry to get out of there. The scientist didn't seem to completely, he didn't seem completely sane. He mentioned something about escaping to the wasteland in a spaceship. That's cool. I wonder if we can go and, I want to escape to the wasteland in a spaceship. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most responsible person. So she can't go outside. Send the guy. We're gonna give him... Where is it? Suitcase. Bullets. Gun. And an axe. Maybe the first aid kit. Yeah. So now he's got lots of stuff. Ooh, we're getting a message here. He's outside now. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened today. Alright, everyone good? Everyone get food? The army isn't coming. Not yet, anyways. That's today's radio news. Instead, they have been broadcasting requests for citizens to assist them in cutting down trees in the nearby park. We don't know if some fancy general needs it for his fireplace or what, but they suggested it's either that or no evacuation. The choice is pretty obvious to us. Yep, we're going to send someone. Alright, there's our fire axe. That's cool. Kitty, kitty, kitty. What now? We chopped down as many trees as we could. It wasn't much, but hopefully it will make the difference they wanted. The next time they get in touch, it better be for a tank parked on our lawn, or that's or what's left of it. Our only regret is that the wood chopping business ruined our axe. But I've still got an axe. Hold on. Minimize this. Where is There you go. My axe is still down there. Bottom left hand corner. There you go. Uh, when we woke up today, we discovered that Shirkov somehow found its way back to our shelter. Does that mean it's going to stay for good? We're not sure what exactly transpired between the little guy and its owner. We asked, but it wouldn't tell. Things are calm. Everyone gets food. Next, 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 next. We're going incredibly good here, guys. Day 31. Would you believe that? I hope the guy comes back. Fond memories are one thing. We need to be ready for the harsh reality that awaits us. Yep, nothing's happening. Everyone gets food. Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. She's very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Yeah, sure. Find it out. Find out, find out. Ooh! He's back, he's back, he's back! Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We didn't have the latter, but talking alone seems to have done the trick. Ted has safely returned from his voyage from the surface. We came across a local church at the end of the road. Most of it was destroyed, but the priest quarters survived the blast. A group of people survived there and started a cult. They believe that everything that's been happening in this game are tailored for someone's amusement. How crazy is that? The cultists decided they won't be needing any holy water. We did a bit of a miracle work and turned empty wine bottles into quite full water bottles. Everyone good. Ted's hungry. He's really hungry. Gotta feed him. The note we found on that door today was really surprised to us all. It's not signed, but it says that whoever wrote it has been deserving us for a while and believes we're the right kind of people. They instruct us to send a single unknown representative to a meeting tonight um, to find out more. No one is going to said meeting. Why would I send someone unarmed? Day 33. Look how awful everyone looks. We might be passing up a big opportunity here, but we're going to take our chances with the army instead. Our brave soldiers are the only ones that can be trusted in this wretched world now. Plus, we don't want to risk our lives in case there's a trap. Everyone happy. Ted is hungry still. Ted, how much food do you need? It actually seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. 
We want to send someone, not really. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Shokov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris on the table topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take it away the wire, so maybe we best leave it be. Or should we examine the wire? Let's examine the wire. Hopefully we don't die. If it says someone died, I'm going to be upset. Day 34. No one died. That's good. What now? We grabbed the cable and followed it. A rusty old truck parked in our neighbor, neighbor's driveway. When opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They wiretapped our shelter when we were asleep and they were listening to everything we said. We gave them hell and marched them back to our bunker. It's impressive how well Okay, everyone's good. Ted's time is still rumbling. Well, I'm not going to send anyone outside. The agents who are spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. Should we hear them out? Hells yeah, hear them out. That's fine. I'm quite curious to see what they're going to say. What do they say? No one's dead, that's good. They were agents. Real, live, secret agents on the government mission. We saw their identity cards briefly. They weren't listening in on us. It was the cat they were interested in. They made a request too. Wanted us to aid them with some of their top secret missions in the future. If we do that, they promise they will extract us to a government safe house full of supplies and donuts. Hopefully they come back soon with more information. Everyone's good, everyone's good. Next, next, next. Yeah, we're going on an expedition. This is going too slowly. Wow, he's got a full beard now. We've made it quite a long way now. Day 36. What's happening now? Okay. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. What's next? Everyone get food. Everyone get food. What do you want to take outside? We're going to send... Let's send Timmy. I haven't sent you before. That's Timmy, right? Oh, I'm imagining his name's Timmy. But it's not Timmy. You can take the suitcase. Where are you? And you can take some bullets. Obviously, you can take the gun. Oh, I went over it. Hold on. Gone, 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 gone. There we go. And first aid kit. Next. That should basically prep him for anything that could possibly happen. Anything that could go wrong at all. Day 37. What's happening next? It's always better than when things are calm. Luckily, nothing's happening. All right, Timmy's outside. Give away some food. Okay. It seems that the whole shelter has been shaking every couple of minutes and it feels like it's getting stronger every time it happens. Here it comes again and it's even worse. It's an earthquake. Hold on to something. Hold on to the radio. Sure. It's going to say we broke the radio. I think it's going to say we broke it. But we can't break anything so it doesn't matter. Everything okay? Let's hope so. We need to make a proper inspection. That was one nasty earthquake. We never used to get such bad ones before. It's all because of the atoms. Definitely not atoms. No one should mess with atoms. No one. So we lose these two atoms. Whatever we didn't hold on to. Who cares? We've got everything anyway, so who cares? It's not even okay. Awesome. On to day 39. Where's the army? How long do I have to survive for? Jesus Louise. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like this. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to keep some cheerfulness in our lives. Everyone good. Everyone get food. There's a man on that doorstep. He wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutations. He assures us that he will not get sick and ask for our help. If we could provide him with him and his friends of ah, uh, if we could provide him and his group with some supplies, they would repay us by helping us fight off the next raid party. Oh, right, give him some soup. There you go. Take some soup. He better not bloody get us infected. Forty. There we go. Awesome. Jump on here. It feels good to have some friends in this cruel, empty wasteland. A few of our supplies is a p a small price to pay to pay when it comes to the safety of your family. I mean, sure, because we're not going to lose this stuff. Alright, our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in others' eyes. We know a teacher from a local school rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. We also know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter. It's part of our community. We help stock it for an emergency. So technically, they're ours, right? Should we reclaim them in an hour of need? No. Do not reclaim them. We have plenty of food. No need to steal from others. 
Ooh, guess who's back? Timmy's back. Hello, Timmy. Robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. We cannot stoop that low. It's important to keep our values, even in these troubled times. Especially in these troubled times. Let's set a shining example and leave these poor people alone. We're so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland. He's safe with us now. So, a whole bunch of junk happened, and we've got plus three water. Awesome. Click, click, click. Okay, there was another military announcement on the radio. The soldiers are nearby and ordering a single person from each survivor group to meet them outside. We're going to send Boss, the big man. Big boy himself. Go ahead and meet them. Day 42. What happens now? We made it to the meeting. The serious looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes, and told us they would get back to us. We would only hope we made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. Okay, everyone's good. Everyone gets food and water. Using a high-tech setup involving paper cups and yards of string, the agents reg in with our next top secret mission that will surely land us a VIP bunker very soon. They wanted us to go to a successful expedition and write down what we saw in the journal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right? We are sending the guy again. What do we see? Is he gonna die is the question. Oh, he's gone. That's not good. Uh, we gracefully agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty. Promised that we would be back with more information soon. Hopefully he comes back. Okay. Do we want to trade water for bullets? Or trade, sorry. Their offer is water for our bullets. Yeah, sure. We can do that. We'll make these guys happy. Make them so happy. Day 44. Ooh, someone's knocking. The girls are very kind and their prices were more than fair. We gladly accepted their offer. How very clever of them to keep their business alive even after the apocalypse. We're impressed. Alright. What happens now? Everyone gets food and water. Um, we're visited by a strange looking little man who's introduced himself as a trader. Yeah, we'll give him the suitcase. Even if we have unlimited suitcases, it's fine. Take the suitcase. Day 45. Would you believe that? What happens now? The weird man tried to make us buy fried cockroaches on a stick, covered in some mysterious sauce. These snacks looked pretty disgusting, so we turned them down, but we bought something else from him. It looked a bit disappointed. The recoil mission was risky business. Wait, is he back? Oh, he's back. Okay. The recoil mission was risky business. We had to visit neighborhoods that were dicey even in the best of times. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs, fighting each other in the gangs, all of them armed to the teeth. We barely made it out of there alive, but the agents seem to appreciate our efforts. Let's hope their missions are actually worth it. A bucket is just about for an upgrade. Okay, cool. Everyone good, everyone good. He needs first aid. Which we can give him. Do you want to go outside? We absolutely do. Awesome. What's going to happen next? Day 46, would you believe that, guys? Next. We can take care of ourselves, it's always better. Okay, nothing's happening. Click, click. Who should go outside? Timmy can't go outside. Let's send the fat chick again. You can carry more stuff because of how big she is. And there we go. Bullets. Take the gun. Take the first aid kit. Off you go. Enjoy yourself, lady. Day 47. 47 days already. Mary Jane went outside. Okay. Everyone get food. Everyone get water. Awesome. On to day 48, guys. Someone's knocking. Memories are not. We need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. Yep, who's knocking? As we're about to start our book club discussion on the only book we have to read, the phone book, we were interrupted by a rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them with any water, food, or medical supplies. We'll give them water. We'll give him food. Food, sure. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Day 49. The cat's so happy to be with us. Okay, our visitors had a problem enough with words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed, smiles and hugs exchanged, and they wished us all the best. It's a great feeling to help someone out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they make it out there. Everyone good, everyone cured. Bang bang, food and water. 
The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door. When we opened it we found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Yeah. Hells yeah. What was inside the suitcase? Could not be a bomb or something, I swear to god. Day 50! Here we go. What now? There's no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking it out of the suitcase. It looks absolutely harmless and purified. We hope to get this. Okay, we got some water from the suitcase. That's cool. Everyone good? Everyone good? Clearly, we are trustworthy after our last successful mission. As the agents came back with another request, we generously provide either a couple of soup cans or water bottles for an agent in the field. We'll take care of the delivery. In return, we'll be given an encouraging pat in the back. Yeah, take the cans. Take the cans, take the cans. What do we get for this? Day 51. Fatty Fat Fat's back. Perfect. We graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised that we would soon be back with more information. Nothing made us happier than see the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed strange. Okay, cool. Need to be more cautious next time because people are following us. Our house wasn't the only one to suffer. Most of our neighborhood was destroyed by the blast. The street was completely covered with piles of rubble, chunks of walls and roof tiles, a rare passerby and a gas mask can occasionally be seen from a distance scavenging for supplies. We found a refrigerator in the middle of a neighborhood, neighbor's lawn without even an electricity. The light was on inside. It contained quite, okay, we've got some soup, we've got some water, sweet. And next, next, next. We're gonna go outside and scavenge, sure. We initially thought it was thunder, it turned out to be heavy knocking at the door. Someone either hates that door, or is very determined to have someone answer it. Yeah, answer the door. Answer it. Maybe it's the army, we don't know. The end? Is that... What is that? Is that raiders? Oh, we shouldn't have answered. We've waited a long time for this moment. Words can't express how we felt when we saw these soldiers enter our humble shelter. We're safe. Finally safe. What will, do, what will tomorrow bring? We don't know. But it's still going to be better than this. We spent 52 days in the shelter. Day 1, all is safe. Day 2, lost and found. Day 4, sleepless in Adamville. Day 6, swarm. Day 8, made contact with the military. Day 9, hello? Day 9, unexpected call. Day 10, nuclear fallout has gone. Day 11, winner takes it all. 14, Spider-Man. 15, sullen at the grave. 16, atomic junkyard. 16, bullseye. 16, innocent preserved. 17, Unlikely survivor. 18. Signaled the army. Uh, I'm not going to read all this. There's so much to read. Crazy. So we did it, guys. Easy victory. That was the hardest mode as well. And you survived. They survived 52. Yes decisions, 8. No decisions, 4. Successful expeditions, 7 out of 7. Items brought from expeditions, 11. Times defending a shelter, 0. Awesome. So that pretty much wraps up our episode there, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at 60 seconds playing with cheats. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you guys want to see more videos from us in the future, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you guys want to see us play more 60 seconds, make sure you leave a comment down below and let us know what you'd like to see. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.